so-called black acacia, commonly found in California. This, this tree has been installed all over the place. They volunteer easily too. They'll come up on their own in a landscape. And many times they'll produce a double lead or a narrow crotching structure. And this is what we have going on right here. We have our main stem, of course, which is about, oh, well, it's maybe 10 inches in diameter. And then we have this little root crown shoot that has come up. It's maybe two and a half inches or so. You can see the narrow crotching included bark condition that is beginning to become more and more significant. This probably should have been removed five years ago while it was still small. It's getting some size now and it's becoming a problem for the tree. We have a pretty strong failure potential and peel out. This small stem could be torn away from, from the main trunk by wind loads, creating a wound right at the root crown, which is, which is pretty serious. It's a, it can become a decay site and threaten the tree's longevity. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dismantle this. We're gonna take the tip first so that we get the weight off, and then we'll come down to our finish cut. For this cut, we're going to use a chainsaw for a couple of reasons. One is this root crown shoot is embedded into the main stem. We don't have access for a straight cut across here. We would be cutting bark on either side of this root crown shoot. So we're going to use the chainsaw tip to get in there and sculpt this, kind of come in without cutting the parent bark, hopefully, of the main stem. We're going to excise this root crown shoot back to the root crown. We've made about the smallest wound that we can make and still excise this. We're square to the stem for the smallest theoretical cut that we're able to make. We were careful not to cut into the living tissue of the tree's cambium, and we have not. And so as a final prevention for decay, we'll just treat the end grain of this root crown shoots excision. The depression in the trunk here that we see is the result of this root crown shoot. The energy, the circulation was going into this stem instead of into the main trunk. So we have a recess, a dent in the side of the trunk because of the presence of this root crown shoot. Hopefully now that this excision has been made, the tree hopefully will come back to a more normal cylindrical trunk form.